Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. In this tutorial today, you are going to be learning how to fit text to part in Corel Draw. Just like what you are seeing on my screen right now, you can see this circle right here. These texts are fit around the circle, okay? You can do this also with another shape in Corel Draw. So we are going to take this circle, then write this text and fit it run the circle okay so right now let me take this one out of my workspace then we are going to do exactly what is on my page right here okay so let me just group this okay so i'm taking it out now the first thing we are going to do is to take our circle and draw our circle then we are going to draw the hack inside also okay so let me just click on ellipse tool then if i draw like this the circle may not be perfect so if, if you want to draw your perfect circle in correct draw you hold your control key on your keyboard okay so that it will be perfect okay so if i release it you can see the circle is uh, not perfect but if i hold my control then the circle is perfect okay so i release it I've drawn the circle. So now I need to type the text that is around the circle. So the text is National Association of Graphics Designer. Okay. So I'm typing right here. Okay. So after typing the text, I need to format my text the way I want it. So let me click on this B to bold the text. Then I can come here to change the font style to impact then i can increase the font also let me increase it to 30. if it is too much we will reduce the text if it is too small we can also increase the text okay now the next thing to do here is to click on the text okay select the text and uh, hold shift on your keyboard to select the second object okay but before i select the second object let me increase the outline of this circle okay so i come here and increase to 2.0 then okay let me zoom to fit okay so that you can see all right so i'm increasing the circle outline to 2.0 so i go to my text and select it and uh, hold shift on my keyboard and select the circle then come to text here on the menu bar then you come to text and uh, click on fit test to part okay so you click on fit test to part so you can see that immediately you click on fit test to part you see that the text goes around the circle okay so if you are using another shape also the same thing is applicable the text will go around the object okay now we have two things to notice here first thing is this distance from part and the second one is the offset okay so the offset is to rotate the text around the circle while the distance from part is to make the text go away from the part or to move closer to the part okay so this is what i mean so if i click on distance from parts you can increase it and you can also reduce it you can see this arrow here so this arrow hop if i click on it the text will move away from the part and I can also reduce it so that the text will come closer to the part. Now, this offset, if I click on it, you can see the text can rotate around the circle so I can uh, make it the way I want, okay? So I think I'm okay like this. I just want, let me use my ruler, okay? So the test is okay right now, okay? Now, the second test here, is beautifying the word okay i did not invert this word okay so beautifying the word let me type okay so now i need to format my text the way i want it so let me just click on impact now this font size is 30 okay so let me choose 30 or so okay now i'm going to fit this text to the part of this circle also now i click on the test Hold shift key on my keyboard then i click on the circle then i go to the text menu and uh, click on text then i click on fit text to parts okay you can see that the text is overlapping the one we have 
already so what do i do i need to rotate the test so that the test can move under the circle so to do that i go to the offset so if i increase the offset okay i increase the offset now i have my text under the circle but it is too close to the circle so i need to move it away from the circle just like this first one that i've done okay so to do that i come to the distance from part and increase the distance from part then okay then let me increase the offset here so that it will come down all right so if i want to increase this font size or decrease the font size what i would do is to come to my text tool here then click on my text tool and uh, click on the text okay so when you double click on the text it will select the text so for instance i want to increase it to maybe 33 then i press enter then let me increase this to 33 also by double clicking on it then i press enter okay so i think i'm okay with what i'm having on my screen right now so the next thing we are going to do here is this circle we are having right here okay so come to your ellipse tool just draw a small circle i draw a small circle give it a red color and uh, put it here then i can duplicate it by holding my control key left click and drag to the next position where you want to put it then release your mouse key and uh, click on copy here okay so i have the two dots now it is remaining the one inside so to do that i come to my ellipse tool again and uh, draw circle inside now this circle is not centralized it is not coming to the center okay let me increase the uh, heart line to two now to make it to come to the center i click on the circle hold my shift key on my keyboard and click on the second circle then i press c and he to make the circle to be at the center of this first circle now i don't want the circle to be round i want it to be an hack like this so when i click on the circle i come to the property bar here and click on hack okay so i want the hack to be 180 degree so i can come here and reduce this 270 to 180 degree then it becomes an hack okay so the text around the hack is we give the best okay so i'm going to type the test we give the best then i want to change the font to impact you can change it to any font style but i'm choosing impact for this tutorial so to increase it so i'm using font 34 i think no 33 sorry okay so we are using font 33 so we can um, click on this text and hold your shift on your keyboard and click on the object you want to fit the text to its part okay so i come to text and uh, click on fit text to parts okay so you can see let me just uh, adjust it with the offset property here okay so you can see that we have exactly what is here in this place so let me let me shift this away from the circle i think it is too close from the circle so you can see adjust when you shift from the circle at times the offset may not be perfect the way you want it so you just adjust it before i end this tutorial let me quickly draw your attention to something you can see that this text under here you can see that it is not well placed so to correct it we need to invert it okay so let's click on it let's click on it when you click on the text then you come to the property bar you will see this mirror text horizontal and a mirror text vertically okay so let's mirror it horizontally then you can see it is not yet readable then we mirror vertically also okay so now it is readable but it is uh, now on the parts okay so how do we do that we move it away from the parts okay so move it away from the part and uh, rotate with the offset property okay so you can see 
now that this is perfect and it is readable in this tutorial what we have discussed so far is how to fit the text around the circle then the major two properties you are going to be using is the offset and the distance from part after fitting the text to part okay so if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel i have a lot of tutorials to upload to this channel and they are going to be very beneficial to you and there are other tutorials on this channel already you can take time to watch them check the comment section below i pinned a link there to my channel and you can check the description box also for other tutorials on this channel and if you want to learn just correct draw i have a playlist for correct draw it is in the description box all right so i will see you in my next tutorial Thank you for watching this tutorial.